Good morning. I can't find my way back to I've just taken the dog for a walk and before I get ready, I'm gonna start a little loaf of bread. I've been looking for that blue headband for ages. Finally found it in a place I've looked 10 times. We're going to the Preston Market this morning to get some chicken wings. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Because we've both had a craving for chicken wings. Any excuse to use the Weber and is it cheap? We ran out of our, uh, our pre prep breakfast burritos. Means it's almost lunchtime and we haven't eaten any breakfast. What are Mark, we gonna, market food. What are we gonna have? I don't know, but that's just tacos and sweet corn. We had no king pizza because it was only like three bucks. Can't go wrong with three dollar market pizza. Peter's got like curry puffs and I got like uh, the best looking crunchies, onion bhaji ever. And the best thing is, it's a store that sells Indian groceries and granny panties, but also has a, a little bit in the front where you can get the dopest curries and onion bhaji and whatnot. And that's so good. And the guys that run the place are legit legends. Just got some chicken wings from the market. Now I just need to duck into Woolies and get some charcoal. And that's dinner sorted for tonight. So in a week's time, it's Australia Day. And all the supermarkets have, you know, miscellaneous Australia Day themed items. You know, like a hat or flags. Australian flag on plates. At Woolworths, they have Australia Day sombreros. A sombrero's Mexican. Why do they have Australia Day sombreros? It doesn't make any sense. I've been walking around trying to find the barbecue stuff and I'd walk to the office end of the supermarket. A helpful Safeway employee pointed me in the direction of aisle four. Got the charcoal, got the chicken wings, got some chicken ribs. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. And now we're heading home. Oh, also, side note, while we're at the markets, I had the camera set up doing a little time lapse of like people moving around. You've probably already seen it in the intro. This guy started walking towards me. I looked up and at first I thought he was a police because he was wearing, you know, navy blue and he had patches on his shoulders that looked exactly like the Victorian police patches. But as he got closer, I realized he wasn't a policeman. He was just a security guard with a uniform made to look particularly policeman-like. And apparently someone had complained because we were carrying our camera around at the market and he came over to tell me that I wasn't allowed to record there. We'd only been there about two minutes at that point. As you may have seen, I completely stopped recording and never recorded anything else at the market from that point onwards. <laughs> Just dropped Fee at home with the baby and the dog. Now I'm just ducking down to Barclay Square because I need to go to a Telstra store to sort out a few technical issues with various phones and, and whatnot for the farm. Then back home. What's you doing, Bubba? So I lay a sheepskin on the ground with a different blanket for Luna while I was washing the other one because it was covered in dog hair. And she's like rolled herself up in the blanket like a little, like a little baby burrito and she's reading a book. It's adorable. All done, finished. It took ages. Not because they weren't helpful, it was just lots of messing around. I was changing settings on Dad's account and on Meryl's account and setting something new up for the farm and switching people to different plans and organising a new number of SIM card. Just lots of different things. Lots of things that took lots of time and the Telstra store was flat out. I think every single person in the area also was trying to get stuff done today. Have a good one. You too. Hi. What's up? I'm going upstairs to make some chicken wings. I'm just about to do some chicken wings that I got at the market earlier today. You can get this accessory for the Weber called a Vortex. Not made by Weber, but it's essentially... Actually, hang on, I'll show you. So the Vortex is like this thing just here. And there, it's essentially just a like a metal ring that's sort of cone-shaped. You sit in the middle of your Weber and then you fill that with lit charcoal, then you can cook indirect around the outside. So if you see here, see in this setup that these guys have done, so you got all of your heat source right in the middle, super concentrated, and then indirect heat around the edge. Benefit of that is your wings will end up with super crispy, crunchy skin, almost like fried, but they're cooked over charcoal, and you still get to impart that smoke, and they should be delicious. But I don't have a vortex, but I reckon I can make one. Safety first. 
Nate's outside doing barbecue stuff. Me, Luna, and the dog are watching the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Classic feel good movie. Just made up a quick rub for the chicken. That's there. Well, those wings were awesome. I will do those again. Super easy, delicious, solid Saturday feed. I've just put the baby to bed. Skipped a nap this afternoon, just super grizzly. It's a tough one, Nate's currently in there so I can eat dinner. And I just want to say that I have the best husband who's making me the damn finest chicken rib, chicken wing dinner. Oh man. <laughs> you know that video of like a little girl and she's eating and she's like, that's what I feel like right now. 